Yo, what's up guys, how you doing? How is everybody doing this evening? As you can see, the sun is up. That's crazy, right? Ain't that fucking weird? Probably, how long has it been? It's been since, you haven't seen me with the sun up since Japan, haven't you? It's been a couple weeks then. <laughs> but hey, what's going on guys, how you doing? As you can tell by the title, we are doing exactly what we did yesterday, but it's sunlight out. So hopefully we'll have an easier time doing it. I thought the thing that we did yesterday, the fucking app, I thought it was very interesting. So we're gonna see if this shit is, continues to be coincidental, or if it's just a bunch of nonsense. Holy crap, this is unbelievable, or live CXVX. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Appreciate that, ProScales. Either way, it gives us something to do and fucking an excuse to uh, go around the city. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I need to fucking shave. I know this guy in the chat says I look fucking drugged out. I don't know about that, but bro, I need to shave. Indeed. Um, fucking eye bags. Shave and get rid of eye bags. That's it. I, I mean, <laughs> I woke up like two hours ago, okay? So, hey, listen, when I start my stream, that's when I wake up. So, shut the fuck up. It's all good. Not no fucking homeless shit. Hey, dare shirt. Not drugged out. Motherfucking dare. How you doing? No, but, uh, yeah, so we're gonna see how this shit goes, and we're gonna hopefully get some motherfucking ass good luck here in this app and get some really nice stuff really interesting shit uh and then yeah we'll go around do this a couple hours and then we'll uh you know go home chill stream mixer you know how it goes but all right so before we do that and all before we fucking do all that shit and blah 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 how y'all doing my day has been long today i woke up at 12 in the afternoon okay fucking 12 goddamn o'clock that's early all right i usually wake up i didn't wake up two hours ago i woke up at 12 all right i just usually wake up fucking at like three or four but i actually woke up at 12 today and i had to go out to ups do some stuff mail some shit blah 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 it's been a long day all right i had to brush my teeth i had to take a shower i had to get dressed it's just it's it's been good news Bjorn gave a black guy $60 and declared racism is over. Thank God. Speaking of non-racists, when is Vold Sad coming? I think he'll be here sometime this week. Or next week or something, so... Or, you know, Bro, Monday. I want that shirt. Do you think they'll ship it out of state from their dispensary? Or did you have to visit him? What you mean, dude? It's a dare shirt. There's no... No drugs. Keeping kids off drugs. All right. No fucking dispensary. This isn't weed. This is a motherfucking against weed, homie. That's what this is. All right. Hold up. Yeah, I know how to get dressed for the first time ever. I actually don't have any fucking clothes. So I look like shit all the time, and I don't know why. I guess it's just something with my face. I guess I don't know. I look just fucking. I look like shit like all the fucking time. I really. I think it's my diet. I eat McDonald's. I've been eating McDonald's probably or not McDonald's, but fast food. Well, my fave streamer. Love you. Ooh. I've been eating fast food every day for months. What can I say? I like fast food. It's convenient. I get that shit DoorDash to my house. Easy. But, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, it's obviously starting to uh, show itself in my skin, I think. I don't have any acne, but, you know, for some reason I have eye bags when I'm not really tired. So, eh, yeah. I gotta work on that because uh, I also don't feel good most of the time either. I have, like, uh... Like I have like I I'm doing great, Paul. I earned a total of five hundred thousand sparks and Bims watched your stream from last night. I can tell you are starting to put more effort into this. Thank you and CX. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. And thank you, Gimpy. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, I tried to uh get the microphone fixed on the phone today. They didn't know what the fuck the problem was. <laughs> they were like, there's nothing wrong with the mic. So I don't know. I'm just gonna I have another S9. I'm just gonna but as a password on it, I don't know the passcode to it. I forgot it because it's old so I'm just gonna factory reset that phone and then we'll have a brand new mic it'll be fine but uh, I have to figure out how to factory reset a phone I think I just have to plug it into the computer and then it will factory reset or something hard reset yeah something like that I'll just figure it out I don't know um all right yo yeah I gotta get rid of this I don't look like I no just I'm before we go to Europe I need to look good okay I need to look fucking like I don't want to look like a fucking homeless person <laughs> So we're gonna go CX. We're gonna buy new clothes. We're gonna fucking shave, get a haircut, just stop being fucking lazy with how we look. I mean, I usually don't care about how I look, to be honest. I don't think it really matters. But, you know, if we're going to Europe and we're traveling, let's try to look decent, you know, let's not look like a fucking bum. So I mean if I'm sitting at my house, I don't really care about looking like a bum. 
you know, streaming on the fucking computer or whatever, but, you know, it's different, I guess, if I go out for three weeks. Uh, thank you, Nate, I appreciate it, because then, you know, obviously people are not going to want to talk to me as much if I look fucking homeless, but if I look good, people want to talk to me. So, uh, with that all said, let's begin. We're having a mixer, yeah, I'm going to just do a chill stream on mixer today after I, after we do this whole, uh, this app thing and, you know, I roll here. I have two hours, I think, to go on mixer and three more days on mixer until I'm eligible for partner so we're going to knock those out hopefully i can get that partnership before we do the eu trip so that 24-hour cam can actually bring in some uh, interesting sort of uh, engagement instead of just sparks you know sparks you know have other things too so all right whatever let's fucking go on this app and let's see what we can find if you are not caught up with what we did yesterday basically we found an app quantum theory what i think i want to manifest should show up what you in the chat want to manifest should also show up as well. So, with that said, we need to find out what we want to manifest, all right? And I already thought about it. We're, we're, we're gonna do this a couple times, and you know, maybe I'll make a poll in the chat. You guys can say what you want to, sh to show up, what you want to happen, and let's see if it happens. Let's see if it works. For this first one, we're gonna test it with just my own thing. And, uh, let me see. I want to manifest. I want my intention for this app to show me, lead me to where my future holds. What is my future? What does it hold? That is what I want to find when I set this attractor right now. And we can go and hopefully, you know, the app will lead us to the future of my life. Uh, <laughs> and then after the chat can pick something. Hey, eyes, can we rock the stash again for the EU trip? Bro. You really want to see me with the mustache? Bro, it's very European anyways. Homie, do y'all... Nobody liked the mustache, homie. Y'all really want me to just do the mustache? I have a pimple right here. Ew, that's disgusting. Hold on. Let me just get rid of that. Ah, good enough. What the fuck? I don't ever have pimples. That's fucking weird. Holy fucking shit. All right. He looks stressed as fuck. No, I'm good, bro. I'm just sitting in the car. All right. With that intention in mind, that out in the universe, that intention that I want, let the quantum generated numbers bring me to the place we want to go. Like I said, the way we think, our intentions, what we're wanting to find is what the app will lead us to. Very confusing, I know, but if it works, then you'll see what I'm talking about. It worked yesterday. Pretty, I, I think two, well, we only went to three. I bet, I think two of the three worked pretty well. Uh, the other ones didn't work well. For Trinity Street. Sorry, yeah, I had to uh, exit the app to do this fucking uh, app. That's why I froze for a second there. Don't worry about that. Sorry, but maybe it's just the quantum mechanics working his magic. Freezes the stream so it doesn't leak anything. All right, no, with that said, yeah, I want the map to read out so you guys know where I'm going to because it's, you know, if you guys don't know where I'm going, then it's, you don't know how far we are in shit. Now you'll know how far we are from shit. All right, let's do this. So sad. Hey, listen, buddy. No, I look good. I look pretty good, honestly. I don't think I look like a fucking bum, like some people say, but, you know, I don't know. I, I, I just have bag eyes. I just have motherfucking ass black eye bags. That's basically it. I mean, if I dressed better, too, I don't dress very well, but I don't really care, dude. Like, what am I supposed to dress like in Gucci and Louis Vuitton? Like, I don't want to wear that stuff. It's not really my style. I have worn Louis Vuitton stuff before and shit, but I don't really like it. It's like $700 and the shit gets scuffed and then what? Alright, let me pay for this parking real quick so we just leave the car here. Uh, one second, chat. $12, dude. Alright. Insert the credit card. I'm looking good. I don't know what you guys think. If I just take care of myself a little bit better with the shaving, I think I'll look really good. Alright. So $15? No, I don't want to park for three hours. Alright, but I'm going to park for three hours. Alright. Did you read my fucking license plate? No, you didn't. I just paid $15 and I did not find my license plate. Alright, well, I got the receipt though. Let me put this on the car dash. Hold on. I'm searching for quantum physics. He doesn't care. Nobody cares. Alright. Dashboard. Alrighty. Alright, like I said, what we were supposed to find 
at the location that's about 0.5 miles away is something that's going to tell us about the future of my life. So hopefully it's something good. Hopefully we run into a good clue, but you know, I don't know. We'll see. I don't think, uh, I mean, it could be, it's a very vague question, but hopefully uh, that adds to the, the amount of stuff, good stuff that it could, you know, bring us to, but we'll see. Come to Denmark, yeah, I'll be there, dude, don't worry. We'll be going to Denmark, probably Copenhagen, when we uh, stay with the Netherlands, and I'm pretty sure we're starting in the Netherlands, so, uh, you know, we'll have to head over there for sure. What if it's What's up, over? buddy? Dildo, that'd be funny as shit. I mean, that wouldn't be good because that just means I get fucking dildos in my ass in my, in my future probably. But I do get pegged currently, so I guess it would be pretty accurate. But the present is not the future, so it shouldn't really, it shouldn't be a dildo actually. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Lavaca Street. He thinks you're a homeless man. Let me see. He thinks you're a homeless man? No, but I have a car though. I just parked my car. How could you possibly think that? What's up, buddy? What's up, Cloud Sand? How you doing, bro? My fucking ass. Nobody thinks I'm actually homeless. It's a fucking meme, dude. Obviously. We have a like, phone and shit and camera. Of course nobody thinks I'm homeless. And I also don't smell like shit. I mean, I might do. I might right now because it's kind of hot. It's like 102 degrees outside. I'm fucking sweating my balls off, but... Nah, I don't know. It shouldn't be too bad. Sweden, yeah. Dude, we'll go to... I'm, I'm literally saying We're probably going to almost every country in Europe. Probably going to... <laughs> 20 fucking countries in, in Europe, bro. We got three weeks on there. So, uh, yeah, if you live in Europe, you'll probably see me. Just make sure you come by and say what's up and give me some motherfucking weed. You guys don't think I look homeless, right? No, I don't think so. So, is there anything about my face that looks like off or like bad? Uh, no, I wouldn't think so. Something I need to work on? No. no. Are you, have you been told that? Yeah, many times. Like, run down. I wouldn't say so. No. You look like a normal, normal yeah, tired. Normal dude. I'm not, I don't look tired. You don't got bags and often. I would say you're pretty normal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> See, I, I told you guys, I don't look that bad. I mean, maybe it's just being nice because I, I actually do have bags. I can see my fucking bags. But it's fine, dude. The fact that they talk to me just means that I'm not disgusting. So don't worry about it. Actually, we should have probably gotten a bird scooter to do this. To be fair, but I just can't drive the scooter with one hand and hold this fucking uh, this camera, so that's kind of scuffed. But it would make it quicker to get around instead of walking to the you know the couple blocks down. But it's fine. I like walking anyways. It's good for the health, and we can you know obviously uh, see people, talk to them if they are motherfucking down for that shit. <laughs> Basically, we all got insomnia. I watch screens daily. I'm surprised. Chat bags match yours. Oh yeah, I'm sure everyone in the chat has, obviously, the bags that I do. Bro, I stay up until 6 a.m. I didn't sleep yesterday, literally, until fucking 7 o'clock in the morning. I have sleeping problems. I look at my fucking computer screens all night. I fucking wake up. I look at computer screens. I look at my phone screen. I'm, Bro, I have the blue light syndrome. I look at motherfucking blue lights way too much and it keeps me up. Now, I know there's a setting on the computer that can turn the blue light off, but I don't like that because it looks fucking weird. It makes the computer screen look fucking just too weird for me. I don't, I don't like looking at it, so. I do have, you know, the weed pen, but it does, weed doesn't really help me sleep. I don't know. I, I still, like it, weed actually keeps me awake when I'm tired as fuck. If I have 24 hours no sleep, if I smoke weed, I'll actually not feel tired anymore. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the kind of weed I have. Maybe it's, maybe you guys can relate to that. I don't know. People I know use weed to sleep. I cannot. Now, if I get super- Good to see you. I missed out on your Mixer streams because Mixer doesn't have a smart TV app. Are you coming to the UK during the EU trip? And if so, where? You should go to somewhere like Liverpool. Actually, we probably won't go to the UK because obviously the UK is, uh, you know, an island. And I don't know how I'd get there. I guess I could ferry or whatever, but it's so out of the way and I've been there a million times. I'm probably not going to go to the UK, but I'll probably go to most other places in Europe. Um, yeah, I know I smoke indica, sativa, all this different stuff. I've tried it all. The only thing that put, the only kind of weed that puts me the fuck to sleep is dabs, but I hate dabs. I cannot smoke dabs. I get hella fucking anxiety, so I'll smoke a dab, okay, I have anxiety for three hours, and then I pass out, as opposed to just immediately passing out. That passing out is not worth the three hours of <laughs> motherfucking anxiety. All right, I, I cannot fuck with dabs on me at all. 
smoke till you pass out? No, I get anxiety. I can't. I literally have to smoke like three or four hits and I'm good. Otherwise, I start getting panic attacks and fucking my heart goes fast and shit. Yeah, it ain't good. Yeah, I know Mixer doesn't have, uh, you know, Chromecast or whatever. It's kind of shitty, but it is what it is, I guess. I don't know. Do you ever miss your parents? I mean, eh, I call them every so often, so not really. I mean, they're there when I need them and, you know, I see them every year, so for, you know, holidays and stuff. <laughs> Yo, what's up, dude? When you're coming to Europe? Uh, September 9th. September 9th is the road trip. So uh, that's, I'll probably, I think I'm flying into Europe a couple days before that to, uh, you know, meet up with everyone, set up the whole, like, RV. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I should stream picking up the RV. But the thing is, I want to make sure that I have time to set up everything inside of it, like cameras and things like that. So... I probably will, I, I, I probably could stream picking up the RV and then turn the stream off and then turn it back on when everything's like set up and ready to go, to be honest. <laughs> oh man, I think that's like the way to go. Oh yeah, CBD, yeah, weed with more CBD than THC, that's really good shit. But, like I said, I don't know, I, I still like the head high from weed, so I don't really smoke it that much. Sometimes I just deal with the anxiety when I smoke weed. Like, alright, I'm having a panic attack right now. That's fine, whatever. Fucking play a video game, get my mind off it. Like, I'm so used to panic attacks nowadays, like, it just fucking... I just roll with it, dude, honestly. Like, oh, my heart's going 140 beats per minute, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I know that sounds really bad and unhealthy, or, like, really fucked, but... I literally, that's, every time I smoke weed, that's what happens. Unless, you know, if I'm not careful, so... At this point, I'm just, I just deal with it. <laughs> I wear the Apple Watch a lot when I uh, smoke weed, so I like to track my heartbeat. Sometimes my heartbeat goes up to like 170 beats per minute, where I'm just sitting on the fucking chair. <laughs> like I'm just sitting down doing nothing. And I'm just like, oh, that's strange, wow, I feel like shit. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. No, I don't need to take fucking Xanax or anything, that's retarded. Just, you know, just I just breathe, you know, breathe in, breathe out, play a video game, get my mind off it. It only lasts like, Usually like 10, 20 minutes, so it's not bad. Alrighty, we're almost there. Let me just motherfucker up here to the right, and then basically there. No, and nobody in the chat should ever take a benzo. Do not take Xanax. I mean, I guess if you have deteriorating anxiety, then sure, you know, every to each their own. I would never though. They are the devil's drug, and they will destroy your life. <laughs> so do not take a benzo. Uh, you become a lazy fuck if you do nothing, and uh, you also start to hate everybody. From what I've seen, at least, you know what I mean? But I've taken a Xanax going on a long flight, I did not enjoy that. It was not fun. It makes you feel awful. I don't know. Alrighty, take a right here. Yeah, Austin's really nice. They got a little button bell right there, like, it's a really nice city, it is. It's not as big as LA, but it's nice. There's no fucking, it's clean everywhere, there's no fucking crackheads unless you go on like a specific street. So it's nice. Alrighty, so we're in downtown right now. I'm very curious to see what kind of, uh, what this- Turn right onto Lavaca Street. I'm curious what this app is going to lead us to, honestly. To see, uh, to talk about the future of my life. So, right here, it wants us to turn up here, past this government building. No, Silicon Labs. What is that? Maybe I'm going to become a dev. I'll make my own fucking game or something, my own fucking app. Maybe that's what it's telling me. No, because we're going past it. Alrighty. Turn that shit down. <laughs> what, you guys want to know where the fucking, what the directions are, right? It's not that loud, huh? I mean, I guess it is if you're wearing headphones, but... Come on, you know better than to wear headphones when you watch my fucking stream. Alrighty, so it's up here. Put my daffodil, dude. <laughs> no. That stuff was uh, interesting. Purple Army for over two years. Let me know if you ever want me to run up on Penguin 01. In a quarter mile, turn left onto West 6th Street. I'm a fiend for the cloud. Let me know if you ever want to... <laughs> want me to... <laughs> okay, no, there's... There's no need to do that, but thank you, dude. I appreciate it, homie, but don't do that. What's up, dude, when you come to your... Yeah, thank you, Max. Alrighty. The doc is drugs to slow your heartbeat. You know, I, 
Uh, I used to be on a, on this uh, drug when I was younger called Klonidin. Are you going to Bulgaria? You could meet up with Bulgarian Andy. Well, like a blood pressure medicine or something. So I took this meds because I had a lot of anxiety growing up. And I didn't want to take benzos. So the doctor gave me a medicine that lowered my blood pressure. And it actually worked. Shit worked nice. Like, I legit never had anxiety or nothing. The only problem with it was I was constantly lightheaded. Because my blood pressure was constantly really fucking low. You know what I mean? So that's not good, because I can't really do shit if I'm constantly feeling like I want to go to sleep. But it wasn't a narcotic, so that's why, you know, I asked for that from the doctor. You know, when I was like fucking 16 or something. It, it probably also doesn't help that I have hypoglycemia. You know what I mean? Hypoglycemia and then a med to lower my blood pressure? Yikes, that's not good. <laughs> that's a double low right there. Low blood sugar and low blood pressure. Boom. I'm dead. Let me see. How's the quantum physics thing going? Well, we're about to go to our first location to find out the future of my life. So we'll see how that goes. God, I'm already sweating, dude. It's so hot out here. Go to Bulgaria, you can meet up with Bulgarian Andy. Bro. Maybe. I would like to see him again. He was a funny dude. But we'll see. Alrighty. Let's uh, walk. EBC wants a date with me. Yeah, well, when EBC, if he goes to Europe, I'll take him on a nice romantic steak dinner date. And then I'll suck his dick later that night. I know he hates that so much, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry, EBC, but it's just too funny. What can I say? Alrighty, so we're gonna, let's see, how far is this? It's right up here to the left, so turn up here to the left and then and we're there, so it's probably gonna lead me to like an alleyway, so hopefully not. Hopefully not a cardboard box next to the dumpster, that'd be terrible about the future of my life, but we'll see. Or it could just be nothing and it could be a bunch of bullshit, but we'll find out. I'm walking all over the city today. Forgot to say no homo? No, there's totally homo with that. I suck mad dick. There's totally homo intentions there. Fuck, now my quantum intention is going to be fucking gay shit. It's fine. Alright. I'm alive, yes. Look what at comes to mind when you think about your future? It seems like you're in a time of flux. It seems like you're in a time of flux. You're in a time of flux. What does that mean? What comes to mind when you think about your future? I don't know. I mean, fucking. What do you think my Austin Rocks, dude? What do you think my future holds? What's it, your future? Yeah, based on just me? knowing, just looking at me. Yeah, I don't do the judging. The, the judgment. I think you're gonna be a fucking surgeon, dude. No way, dude. I think you're gonna be like a, a neuro brain surgeon. A neurosurgeon. Hey. I would let you operate on me on Molly. I would let this guy fucking operate. Only on Molly. Hey, we'll do a rip line cocaine before you put me under. Why not just sober? Why do you have to be on cocaine if I'm such a good doctor? Dude, I, I, I like the cocaine because you're faster. Well, I mean, if you ever need brain surgery, hit me up. I'll have my degree, but, you know, <laughs> let I'm down to do it. <laughs> yeah, later, dude. Hey, hey. Okay, bro. Hell yeah, dude. Everyone's on drugs in Austin. I, I love it. No, I'm just kidding, but, alright. Brain surgeon, huh? Well, I'm flattered. You know, when I was younger, I always wanted to be a, a surgeon. Not really. It's too hard. I know it's too hard. I can't do it. Honestly, I don't have the heart for it. It's not really too hard. It's probably easy to be a surgeon. How does it feel knowing that basically all relevant IRL content today exists because of you? Ice will always be king. Uh, but I think it would, I just, I would pass out looking at some blood and on some guy's open heart. How's it feel knowing all basically all relevant IRL content exists because of you? I mean, I don't know if I would say that, dude. IRL is its own thing. I mean, I was definitely one of the first people that were doing it, at least uh, in this sort of way. But, you know, I, I can't really give myself credit to every single person who IRL streams. That's a little bit uh, facetious, you know? A little bit conceited of me there. But, you know, I definitely molded some kind of path. Uh, you know, and I don't know, like, motherfucking ass. The whole like uh, 
What was the thing? Like, where you test it? Where you test something, see if it works? I have not watched you in a little over a year. You got me through some times. Good to see you, man. Hey. Thank you, dude. SWM, I appreciate that, homie. Thank you. I'm glad that you, uh... Hopefully, you're better now. I mean, I'm sure you... Take the next left onto Guadalupe Street. Then turn left onto West 4th Street. We're here. This, this is, like, right on the end of this corner. So, let's see. I think the next one we go to, I'm gonna just try and ride a bird scooter with one hand, if I can figure it out. So I gotta type in my card number and stuff, so... Because motherfucking ass... I just don't want to walk fucking 35 miles today. Come on, map. Update. If I see a, another note that says Paul on it, like we did yesterday, I'm gonna freak the fuck out. Are my own bath salts? No, I'm looking at the app on my phone. I'm gonna do that. Because I have to, my phone is sideways. You, you know what I'm saying? Alright, I don't want, I know I look like a fucking crackhead, but. I'm not walking around with a selfie stick. We always look like a crackhead. Let's be real. I fucking talk to myself all day. What else do we do? <laughs> Let me know if you need a content producer or cameraman. I know how to edit and I'll be your personal housemate. You've arrived. In cosplay. Connor. I mean, I kind of already have one, but we'll see. All right, I've arrived. This can't be it. We're not exactly there yet. We have to walk a little bit more straight. So it's right at the end of this corner here. This is the... It's exactly right here. Is that my future? Excuse me, are you my future? Maybe. Cowboy butts drive me nuts? Bro, you're my future. You must be. I don't know. Is that my future? Ice, you're killing IT. However, get back to your grind and do what you do best. I'm starting YouTube tomorrow. Some, it's something, something here is representation of my future based on the fucking quantum, the, the quantum app, dude. So one second. You're killing it. However, you back to your grind. Oh, thank you, dude. I appreciate it, Alpha. What the fuck is here? Hold on. Maybe it's like a piece of paper or like a, a sign or something. Or it could be a person. CX in the chat. Something represents my future in this very spot. Do not pay a person. That could be it. Hmm, it's not... No, it's not... Hmm. How you doing, sir? Have you seen anything strange around here? Like, uh, like some thing on the floor or something? No. Is it this bird scooter? Hmm. This might, this one might be a fluke, chat. This one might be a fluke because yesterday we had some good ones, but this, I don't, I'm not seeing anything here. It's not, it's not the fucking homeless guy, chat. Shut the fuck up. It can't, no. Dude, it can't be. You're retarded. I'm going to look until I find something that's not the homeless guy. No. 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 I look like a fucking idiot. No, dude. Wow. This is... Is it the fucking... Hmm. Hmm. It's not the Amazon locker. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think... Uh, I think this one's a fluke. Unfortunately. Because I'm not seeing shit. It's... Okay, I guess we can just assume it's the homeless guy. I mean, that's the only, it's the only, uh, it's the only thing we got. God damn it! Okay, that's bullshit. Wow. Okay. Whatever, dude. There's the boxes. That's the homeless guy. Yep. That's my future. Got it. I'm gonna be 
Austin outside of the fucking bank in the future. I dare you to shout Dini super loud. Folded hands. Folded hands. No. Oh, why do you want me to do that for? Motherfucking ass, what does that mean? Shout no, I don't know what that means. Alright. Alright, let's get to the next one, I guess. Let's get to the next clue. I'm I'm gonna be a homeless fucking person, dude. Uh, God, dude, fuck. There's nothing. I'm gonna be fucking homeless. Alright. It's a palm tree for your future in Florida where you will be living later in life. I'm trying to find my uh, my future. Dude, I cannot live. No, nope. I smell like shit. You no, probably should not cool, walk towards me. How you doing, bro? Nick. What's your name, bro? Nick? Yeah, man. Or Nate? What's your stream since, like? I haven't watched it, but in 2014. Oh, hell yeah, dude. It's crazy to see you in person. Bro. Can I take a picture? Yeah, for sure, dude. Holy fuck. What are you doing over here? I work at W Pandren. Are you my future? Am I your future? I, I might be. I don't know. How have you been, man? I'm good, bro. Oh, man. Just hanging out. Have you actually been good? I mean, last for the most part. Alright, last time I saw like any updates. 100% gay cowboy guy. Are they still within view? That's the last time I saw like an ice update. The cowboy guy is gone, long gone. It could have been, it probably was him, but what does that mean? Um, I don't know. But I, I don't know. I don't know what was going on with that situation. It was the last time I saw anything. What was the last thing you saw? Sorry. Uh, the Ponzi, the Ponzi scheme accusations. Oh. You know, yeah, I mean, obviously. Borrowing money from a... I mean, obviously that was, you know, a bunch of bullshit, but. Yeah, I mean, I know it was bullshit. I'm just saying that's the last time I saw any update from you, is then. Yeah. I haven't really seen anything since. I mean, I've been good. I've been traveling, doing stuff, going really, on. Though? Traveling, going on a road trip to Europe next uh, two weeks from now. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah. Good, man. Your mental health is doing all right. Who? Your mental health is doing oh, all right. Oh, I mean, you know, some, you know, for the most part, like 80%. Did you move? Did you move out of LA? Yeah, I live, uh, like, over here somewhere. Oh no shit. Okay. Yeah. Cool man. Good for you. Yeah, it's really nice. It's Good. uh it's not it's very nice compared to LA. Yeah, Austin is very chill. There's not a lot of shit going on. What's the stream saying? <laughs> uh they're just I don't know, they're saying the two thousand fourteen Andy. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Normal Holy shit. Holy shit, yeah. God damn. But it's nice to see you man. That's I gotta to continue yeah, my you adventure. I gotta go home anyways. Alright, nice to see you man. Have a great time. I saw the stream, I said hey. See you later. Yikes, I'm fucking hot as shit. Holy fuck. Look at my face. Alright. Yeah, let's just say it was the football guy. It wasn't uh, the homeless person, so. Let's just, let's just say that. What's up, bro? Alright, let's uh, go to the next location. Alright, chat, I'm gonna ask you now. Because maybe my future just means. Maybe I'll be dead tomorrow. Maybe that's why I didn't have a future. Who knows? So, <laughs> so you guys in the chat, say something you want the next location to represent what is the intention you want for the next location do you want it to like what do you want it to represent what do you want it to be it has to be something that you all agree on or a lot of people agree on not i mean i, I don't I, I mean i guess it could be a vagina but i doubt it Across the street here. What is that thing? Drugs. Okay. Really? All right. Is that it? I don't know. All right. Drugs, bro. Can we? Why? No. Well, let's think about a person. Okay. A person. Not. Not an inanimate object. Because that's. That's stupid. Because that that could mean anything, right? Like you don't. Know, it's not gonna be drugs. Laying on the fucking ground, dude. So let's think of a person. Caroline, dude. No. I mean, she would be easy for sure to spot out. Alright, really? My ex-girlfriend? Okay. I never thought I would see the day the goat of my RL would be doing the same type of streams as Uber. So long, cool world. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? I think Uber is a better streamer than me. All right, so let fuck it, Caroline. It is then. Alrighty. It's just gonna be. It's just be easy. It's like an alien or something, right? It'd be easy as fuck. So found the thing. Let's send it our new look to drive on the highway. So let me 
motherfucking ass call an Uber back to my car. Why Caroline out of the chat wanted it. They, that's what they suggested. Everyone needs to say, give their energy. Give their energy and just think that you, that you want to see her at this next location. All right? Something that represents her at the next location. Just think about it. Put your energy forward, forward towards it. Uh, all right, let me call an Uber back to the car because motherfucking ass, I'm not walking fucking a mile and a half. <laughs> I just paid $15 for three hour parking just to be there for five minutes. How much is left? There we go. Alright, give it to me, baby. Hi, Dad. What are you up to? We, I mean, not much. We're just going around looking at his app, trying to motherfucking see if this shit's legit or not. It's pretty fun. So, yes, or yesterday was pretty fun, so we're seeing if this shit continues to be consistently legit, because then if we go to, you know, different cities and everything, we can just use the shit, and it'd be fun as fuck. Alright, they're looks to be here in like three minutes. Take a scooter? Hmm. It's on the highway, though. <laughs> I mean, not taking a scooter on the highway. It's going to take forever to get there. Let's just get there, you know, instead of waste time. It's on like a fucking golf. It's on like a golf course, or like a park or something. It's had a windmill, so I assume it's a mini golf course. Oh, I'm still talking about Caroline. I don't know, bro. I'm fucking. I, what can I say? I'm obsessed. All right. Yeah, I'm in Texas. You know, for all the people out there who don't know the history of my streams, this app is very similar. To how I actually started doing IRL streaming. A lot of you probably don't know, but I started with Pokemon Go. That was how I originally started it, and now I'm using this app, but it's like a little more interesting than fucking just a stupid game like Pokemon Go. So, you know, this is kind of like old feels. This is like some old school shit, using an app to get around and then, you know, talk to people on the way that seem interesting. But I don't think a lot of people know that, like the guy who donated and said I'm doing the same content as Uber. Like, bro, it's not about the content. It's about how you do the content. But then again, I guess it doesn't matter because Uber is the better streamer. Alright, the guy's here. Where's the very best real quick? I'm up looking at Honda, is that him? Mazda, whatever the fuck. Alright. That's not him. That's him. Fuck. I look like an idiot. It's fine, dude. Let's get in this guy's car. How you doing? Fuck the haters ice. Love you doing non-toxic streams and not trying to please the trolls. Yep. You have true fans that support you. Yo, thank you, John. I appreciate the motherfucking ass 10, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, homie. Oh jeez, oh, fuck, I'm so fucking sweaty. Holy shit. I feel bad for people who have to fucking stand outside all day. Continue on West 6th Street for one mile. Doing like construction work and stuff, like fuck. It's ridiculous. I mean, I worked in a kitchen when I was a line cook, so I guess it's just about as hot as that. But, well, actually, being a line cook is much hotter. Turn left onto West 5th Street, then turn right onto Guadalupe Street. Imagine a motherfucking ass kitchen that has just nothing but steam and motherfucking humidity. That's literally all it was. Because it was in Florida too, so. Turn right onto Guadalupe Street. 85 degrees in Fort Worth. Yeah, but I mean, here it's fucking almost 100, so. All right, this map, we need to get this map real quick. Because we're in an Uber anyways. Let me see, how the fuck do I need this? I used to do construction framework here in Texas. It sucked, yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. That shit, I feel bad. That's, that shit sucks dick on me. Alrighty. Oh, man. Alright, dude. Remember, don't forget the, the intention that you have to do here. Everybody, just think of aliens. Think of aliens. That is the energy that you have to put out so the next location shows 
what we're looking for based on what you guys wanted to look for at least. That's not how Ron's brand not works. Well, I mean, that's what the dude who made the app told me. That's what he that's what he told me. That's how it works. What you talking about? He said human consciousness is attached to the quantum fabrics of the universe. And then if we think a certain way, it changes the fabric of the universe because of electromagnetic pulses. I know, it sounds fucking crazy. It is fucking crazy, but it's kind of fun to, uh, to give it a go. It's fun to believe, like Santa Claus, you know? And then you never know what we could find. I mean, I believe in multi-dimensional, uh, you know, dimensions, so maybe I'm the crazy one. I think when you die, you go to the fourth dimension, then you die again, you go to the fifth dimension, and so on and so forth, until you get to the tenth dimension, and now you are God. You are now an omnipresent, you know, figure that has control over your past lives, and you can go to every single different outcome of your past lives. And you know what? There's a real religion behind that. It's called logical Hinduism. Now, I'm not going to say I'm a logical Hindu, but I think a lot of the beliefs they have is very, uh, you know, interesting. I'm not going to say accurate, but it would be, in it's interesting, you know? We don't know if it's accurate. Where exactly are you going to? Um, it's just up ahead on the right. Yeah, so if you keep going straight, it's behind the convention center. Just right behind it. Quantum physics describes what occurs on a subatomic level. I mean, basically, but he's saying that we can control the subatomic levels. Atoms don't control us, we control them. But we'll see. If this next location has nothing, then it's bullshit. Because this first one, it had literally nothing at this first one. Had a, okay. so many wave functions what does that mean what are you talking about dude even experts in quantum physics don't understand it uh yeah take a little, uh, left yeah sorry i think right where's the convention center yeah yeah just keep going straight it's on the right side it's like a parking lot <laughs> you're talking like etika before he okay not really what are you talking about dude you're, no, that's not true at all. You can, you're allowed to have beliefs that go, you know, away from the norm without sounding a, like, you know, crazy. Like, if that's what you're trying to imply. Like, okay, what? Because I don't... Okay, first of all, if somebody believes in religion, does that make them crazy? Most people would say no. Like, religion is normal. You know, religion is real. But, to me, I think religion is crazy. And I you know, don't believe any of it. <laughs> so, you know, but I'm not gonna call them crazy. It's that P, that blue P right there. Thank you. Yeah, so I mean, I'm not gonna call, you know, religious people crazy, because, you know, they're allowed to believe whatever they want. So if I want to believe in multi-dimensional beings, I'm allowed to, without being a crazy person. Thank you so much, I share with the rest of your day. Thank you, you just wanted to get me out. <laughs> no, I'm scared, all right. Alrighty, he, uh, he, I was blabbering my, my mouth off, he's like, get this dude out of my car. It's all crazy. Alrighty. Alright. Let's go. It's an eight minute drive. Let's see what it's in store for us. Far less religious people have depression. I feel like religion is not a bad thing. I feel like if you are religious, it's good because it does actually, it probably would help depression and things like that. Because, it, you know, it gives you faith. Faith is a very strong, you know, thing to keep yourself happy. So I may not believe in God, but I definitely you know, can appreciate faith. Okay, I'm just hit the curb again. Let's not do that. Alright, 
man. Where are we going? Yo, why is this shit not mapping? Hold on. This is new piece, God, bro. Alright. Does this shit not know my location or something? I'm just parked in the parking lot still right now, so don't worry. Head west on East 1st Street, East Cesar Chavez Street toward Trinity Street. Where are we going? Uh, some park. I don't know. Wherever this app leads me. Some fucking park. I guess. Some adventurous place. But I'm not going to be scared of the park either because it's fucking daytime. To not reincarnate if you love life. Dude, if I died, I would not want to reincarnate if I had the choice. I would rather stay in whatever afterlife there is. Hello, Chad and Ice. Yo, what's up, Sydney? How you doing? Thank you for the $4, dude. I appreciate that. You should do an escape room challenge. That'd be better. You should do an escape room challenge that would be contender do laser tag. Well, I can't do... I can't live stream at any escape room. You know, I'm not allowed. They don't let me do that. Because then I give away... Continue on East Cesar Chavez Street for one and a half miles. I'd have to make my own escape room, which is very difficult to do. Because I'd have... Somebody else would have to do it for me. And it's just... I don't know. If I ever find an escape room I can stream at, I would. I would. But, you know, they don't ever let people stream there i've tried it a lot laser tag <sighs> laser tag sounds like a fun stream but then i don't think it will be because you guys can't see the lasers you know what i mean you don't know like only i know when i get shot so let's say i do a first person cam with the laser tag nobody like you can't see anything it's dark and nobody's gonna see the lasers it's they're invisible you know so i don't know we've done laser tag on stream before but i didn't think it was that good We've done paintball, that was much better. But uh, my camera got fucked. So I don't know how to do paintball without my equipment getting fucked, but it was fun when we did it. I just want to be a ghost and fuck with people. Dude, I would love to haunt people, that'd be sick. If ghosts exist, I want to be one that haunts people. I would, I'm not gonna say a demon. No, I'd rather be, would you rather be an angel or a demon? You know what, let's just go there. I've seen plenty of horror films, and I've never seen angels, and then when you do, they don't do anything. I'd rather be a demon. Okay, demons have ridiculous powers, they can do the, un the unimaginable, they can manifest themselves into the living world, and like, fuck with people, and that's amazing. Like, I would love to f spend the rest of my eternity fucking with people as a ghost. At work. Screw it. Fuck it, dude. Hope you don't get fired, Sydney, but thank you. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. If you get fired, let me know. Fucking under my staircase, got a room. Angels are stronger? I mean, I guess. I don't know. Based on movies I've seen, that doesn't seem to be the case. Alrighty, let's... To be honest, I'm scared of death. I don't think it's, uh, it would be very, it'd be a scary fucking thing, dude. Imagine, like, because the, besides the dimensional thing, my logical brain, like, I want to believe in the dimension, but, like, my, my logical side says, but, you know, I want to believe in something, so I do the dimensions. And I only say that. I only say the nothing part because I've seen plenty of those videos on YouTube that fucking uh, read out Reddit posts that talk about fucking, you know, you know the fucking videos, the Ask Reddit videos that, you know, the, the voice reads out what they say? Yeah, all the people who said that they died didn't see shit. And I would believe people on Reddit because why would they lie? Let's not talk about religion and fucking demons and shit anymore. <laughs> this, is, this is not what we want to uh, manifest in our quantum fucking shit here for this app. Do you play Fortnite? Uh, no. 
I, when I first came out, I did, but not anymore. It got fucking old. And I actually tried it with the mechs. Everyone's talking about the mechs. And definitely never playing it now. Smoke DMT? I would. I don't think I would. I'd be too scared to, honestly. I'm too scared to do acid. Okay, I've done shrooms, and that's probably the most I'll do. I did want to do the, the whole Peru fucking DMT ayahuasca thing. But now, you know, I've seen plenty of videos of people taking it. It kind of scares me, dude. So, I don't know. Because I know I've got issues, like, that need to be resolved internally. With, like, you know, emotions and stuff. So, I'd be very scared to, like, do that. And also, having an ego death is so fucking scary. At least to me, I don't know. I just can't, I guess I just can't take it. I mean, I've never taken so many shrooms where I have an ego death, but I've taken shrooms where I like hallucinate a little bit. But uh, yeah, I don't know. When I took it, when I took, a, I took, I think two dabs one time, and I felt like I had a fucking ego death when I took the two dabs. Come to UK, daddy. And I, I dude, I was so scared. I didn't, I didn't exist for like an hour. <laughs> You know what I mean? I literally had no recollection of what was going on for an hour. So, I don't know. It's probably something that would be a good experience to do, but probably not right now. Maybe in the future, but I don't think I would want... Because I know Ego Death... In a quarter mile, use the right lane to keep right at the fork and follow signs for Texas One Loop North. Okay, because I know Ego Deaths, uh, you know, they change you as a person, right? Like, if you, if I took DMT, I'd be a fucking... Turn champion. left in 200 meters. I don't want In a quarter to... mile, merge onto West Cesar Chavez Street. I don't want to be a fucking change man. I mean, not... Like, I mean, I, I mean, I could be, but I don't know. I feel like drugs like that, DMT, they could change you in really bad ways if it goes wrong. Like, you have a bad trip or something. I think it's that park right there. So we have to get there. Continue on West Cesar Chavez Street for half a mile. Okay, hold on. Where do you want me to go, map? Yeah, I have to U-turn here. Gotcha. Up the road for some reason. Well, I almost I just I did too wide of a turn there. Alright. I got stuck on the U-turn. You know when you U-turn sometimes and the road is like not wide enough and you just make too wide of a turn for the U-turn and then you get stuck on the fucking on like the sidewalk, like you're almost hitting the sidewalk. There's In a quarter mile, use the right lane to keep right at the fork and follow signs for Texas One Loop North. Use the right lane to keep right at the fork. Gotcha. Is this a fucking toll booth? No. I, I mean, I fucking hope not. Is this express? Continue for half a mile. In half a mile, keep right at the fork. Follow signs for State Route 1 Loop North. Keep me going. I have depression and stuff. Thanks for everything. Hey, thank you so much, dude, Monkey. I appreciate that. Hope your depression gets, uh, gets better. You know, I've been there, and sometimes I still get there. But... Just gotta fight it off. It's just a deep Keep right at the fork. But everything will be okay. Alright, let's see. Let's keep right at the fork. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck it Alright, I don't know. I thought I was on a toll booth, but. Keep left at the fork. Alrighty. So now we just get off the highway and we're there at this park. So let's see what's here. 90% of ice viewers are depressed. I don't know about that. But, I mean, I don't, I don't think so, but every streamer has viewers that, you know, are depressed a little bit, you know, I mean, I don't know how to explain it, but I think streaming is a good outlet for people who have depression, you know, it's one of the best outlets, because you can watch a YouTube video, but then it ends, and then what the fuck do you do, you gotta find another YouTube video, a live stream, you know, you can watch it for four fucking hours, 
In a quarter mile, take the Westover Road, Northwood Road exit. A couple hours of watching a live stream, you're feeling good, you know what I mean? Or like you're, you're able to forget some shit, so. I think that's uh, where the reasoning comes, you know? Get the gang back together, Paul. Take the Westover Road exit, then turn left onto Westover Road. Um, well, we're doing an EU trip in two weeks, so we'll be hanging out with some people. Alright, get off at this next exit. Or was that my exit? As I was turning off the volume. Dude, I always miss exits. That's fine, just take the next exit. And hey, for anyone who likes watching long live streams, September 9th, baby. It's gonna be fun. So I'm not really reading chat right now. I have to, you know, focus on the road a little bit. So there's like a lot of traffic right now. So just bear with me. I'll be there in like literally a minute. I read a red light now, so we're good. September 9th on a Monday? Yeah, it is a Monday. I mean, I guess people have school and work and stuff, but we'll be live pretty pretty often, pretty long, so I don't think, uh, you'll, you'll always have time to, you know, find to, uh, to watch, I think. I mean, there's five people going on the trip. You'll find somebody will be live. Are you good, bro? You look kind of tired? I mean, not, I'm not really tired. I mean, you know, I woke up a little earlier than usual today, but I'm trying to, like, fix my schedule, so. Uh, but I'm not, I don't feel tired at the moment. Um, my appetite has not been great for, like, a week now. I don't know why, but I eat once a day. I wake up, I eat Chipotle, and then, you know, I might eat at 2 o'clock in the morning, you know, some banana and, like, a macaroni and cheese or something. And that's my, that's my food for the day. I don't know what it is, but I just, I don't know, I just never really feel hungry. And then when I do feel hungry, I'm just like, eh, I'm busy right now. I don't really want to eat. I mean, to be fair, I've had that issue my entire fucking life. So it's not like a, it's not different than, you, than usual, but for the past week, it's been more prevalent than, you know, the past six months. No, I don't think it always has to do with depression, chat. I don't think that's what it is. Because I'm not always depressed. You look healthy and happy, man. I think leaving LA has done you good. Great to see. Hope you're feeling good. Do you feel like you have less anxiety? Love seeing you happy. All the best. Smiley face. Much love. Yeah, I feel good right now. I mean, uh, my anxiety is still there. Uh, but eh, it'll go away eventually. I mean, I've always been a pretty anxious person. It just, I guess it just depends on uh, the day. That's really it. You know, like I said, some days I feel good, some days I feel bad. Today I feel good. You know, a couple days ago I felt bad. It's just life. He looks like shit. No, I don't. Okay, tell me why I look like shit in my face and I'll fix it. Because honestly, I want to look good. I don't want to look bad. This is not my exit, bro. Tell me to go there and then change the fucking map. Where is this exit, dude? It said it was a fucking eight minute drive. Droopy eyes. Yeah, it, it's my eyes, isn't it? I can't really read everybody's thing. It's the beard and the eyes. I think that's the main things here. I don't know how to fix my eyes. I mean... I feel like if I had less droopy eyes, I would look cracked out. Like if I was just like this the entire fucking time. But I think it's like my eye bags is what they're talking about. But we're here anyways. But I, don't know, I exfoliate my face. <laughs> Believe it or not. So whenever I take a shower, even though it's not often, you know, once every couple days, I do exfoliate when I'm in the shower to try to get rid of the eye bags. Um, my girlfriend gives me this like cucumber thing that I fucking put on my face as well sometimes. All right, so let's just park here. Let's park right here. So it's supposed to be like right here, but there's nowhere to park, so I'm, I have to park here. Let me back up. Let me park where that car is. Because there's no parking spots on the side of this, like, <laughs> it's like an off-ramp. So we're going in the, in the grass median of an off-ramp. 
there's not gonna be shit here, dude. This is gonna be another fluke, isn't it? Alright, let's park on the side road actually where this house is. Alrighty. I'm just gonna park for like 10 minutes, don't tell me, bro. Alrighty. Let's see what they got here. Do you guys think there's gonna be anything relating to an alien or any or what the chat wanted? Or is it gonna be bullshit? Did you just need to bring the mustache back? You look so distinguished and you told us you would bring it back for your next trip a few weeks ago. You look messy. So trim up and put the stash. Yeah, the stash, uh... Fuck it, dude. I'll do the fucking stash. Alright. Let's go. I'll do the stash for your... I mean, I'll do it for a little bit. I don't really... Bro, the stash makes me look like a fucking weirdo. For some cores like try hard. The stash makes me look like a fucking, like like sexual deviant or like some kind of creep or something like I creep on fucking women through their windows so uh yeah I don't know but I'll do it for a couple days fuck it dude I guess and yeah Laurel Waluigi I don't want to look like Waluigi the dude can't even get in Smash Bros okay Waluigi's the worst character nobody likes Waluigi they pretend the one to Smash to mean alright uh let me see oh that was $50 for some Coors Light Try Hard hey yo Super Texan You've been, uh, you've been watching the streams for a while, dude. You always donate a, usually a fuckload of the money. Uh, I don't know what part of Texas you're in. I'm assuming you're in Texas, but if you ever want to fucking get a beer or something, like you say Coors Light, then I'm down for that. Because you, I mean, it's the least I could do. You're giving me thousands of fucking dollars, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you're giving me, you were, I think, at one point my top donator, so. All right, what do we got here? So apparently something here. But let me, uh. It's not, it, I, it's not that bird scooter. Hold on. Let me see. So, how far away are we from it? We're looking for a windmill, dude. What? We're looking for a stone wind windmill. The map is not leading me to a stone windmill. One second. Am I walking the right way here? Apparently it's supposed to be over here, but... Is it that? It's definitely here somewhere, but... The map is having a hard time tracking me for some reason, so hold on. Is it like literally a fucking windmill or is it just named that? Let me just type this in. Stone windmill. Yeah, we just gotta keep going this way, right? All right, so we keep walking this way for three minutes. Why is there a sidewalk and a fucking median? Alrighty. Where the fuck am I? Ah, bro. Looking for a windmill. I don't know, we'll see. If there's nothing here, then I give up on the app. If there's something here, then there's faith. But, I don't know. I don't think there's gonna be anything here. But we'll see. I can't be pessimistic. Otherwise it doesn't work. I have to be optimistic. Do you have your stun gun? No, I don't. I mean, it's daylight out, so it's not, I don't need it. I only need it when it's night. Because, like, at night, shit gets fucking sketchy. Alrighty. What the fuck is this? I'm literally going to a crackhead den. Where the fuck is it leading me? Like, if we were... If it was night right now, I don't know if I would come here. Because this is some sketchy-ass shit. Bruh. All right, well, there's plenty of hints here that could potentially be something for uh, what we're looking for. Huh. Okay. We're almost there. Oh, okay. Oh. Hmm. Great app. What the fuck? Bruh. 
This is this app is leading me to death, bro. I'm telling you. What it want? Okay. So I have to go through fucking here. So I have to go through fucking here. For a second. Oh my god, look behind you, there's a giant ass bear, what the fuck? No, there's Run. a bear. We're, we're next to a highway, it's not gonna be bears. Alright, so it's not the, it's not the graffiti, because we're not there yet. So it's not the graffiti. It's over fucking here somewhere. We've still got a minute of walking left, 300 feet. This is a nice place, what the fuck? This is nice. I've never been here, this is a really nice walk path. Besides the fucking uh, graffiti. Like I said, if we were, if it was dark right now, I'd be kind of sketched out, but during the day, this is nice. Alrighty. Hmm. So I think it's like right over here. What is this? Why do they build all this shit? Okay, a hundred feet away. What is that? Okay, random shit, not it. Remember, we're looking for some kind of like alien thing. Or ex-girlfriend thing. That's that's the okay, well there's a windmill. This is what the chat put their energy towards. So it is right exactly here somewhere in this area. Right exactly here. Right here. Okay. Alrighty. Well, let's see. If we can find anything that it was wanting us to look for. Just a bunch of trash, a bunch of fucking trees. We have to look hard. Sometimes it's not very obvious. Like that note that said Paul was not obvious at all. Say yes, okay. It's not. No. Here before he gets kidnapped by Caroline. That's not some some yes man thing. No, that's stupid. Just uh, any Lay's rapper will say that. It doesn't mean anything. We can go look at the windmill as well if we don't see anything here. Fierce something. This is just trash and garbage. Ah! What the fuck, dude? Jesus. Jesus Christ, why did that scare me? It was so close to me. Where is it? It's literally right above us. It's a bat or something. What the fuck? Dude, it's like a fucking bat or something, dude. I don't like when things just make noise in my ear. That thing was close as fuck. This fucking bat jumps at me, dude. I swear to God. There's nothing over here. Oh, fucking stick. Nothing over here. <laughs> Hmm, this one might be a fluke. This app might be uh, bullshit yesterday. I guess we just got lucky. And it was just, uh, it was just coincidence, I suppose. Because I'm not seeing anything here. Let's go check out that windmill. That's the only other thing I can really look for. Alrighty, the windmill. Do you guys see anything? What's that? That's weird. That's actually kind of weird. Wow. Actually. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I mean, that doesn't mean shit. That's weird. It's weird because that's actually vinegar, 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 vinegar. It's weird because September seventh is actually when I bought my flight to go to Europe, and then obviously it starts on the ninth. So, okay, but that's that has nothing to do with my with aliens or my ex-girlfriend. So, I mean, it's a coincidence, but September seventh, you know, it could just. What are the odds? Like, it could be anywhere, you know? That could be anything. 
but that's, that's still not the intention that we are looking for. So why is that there? That's not what we're looking for. But I guess you guys, have, you're, you're putting more of your energy into the, the Europe trip than into the thing we were looking for, I guess. What is this? Let's see. Oh my God, an alien! No. Dude. What? Bruh. Look at that. A fucking alien, dude. Wow. <laughs> hey. Bro, this is app. Uh, bro, it's 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 doing a thing again. It's doing a thing again, dude. The last location was fucking bullshit, but this one brought us to an alien, as uh, predicted. Wow. So you just gotta. It wasn't very obvious though. But you just gotta look for it. What does it say? There's another fucking thing here too. What does it say? I can't read that. It's R15 something something. What's all this shit say? I mean, to be fair, is that really an alien? That could be anything. I mean, it looks like a normal... It looks like an alien, but... I mean, let's just say it is. Alright, is there anything else over here? I hope my car doesn't get towed. I parked in, some, in front of some dude's house. Surely that's not it, right? Man, I guess that's it. We were just looking for an alien. That's what we found, so... <laughs> And then the September uh, 7th thing as well. Very odd. Maybe they connect together. Maybe she's going on the EU trip. No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right, what else do we have here? On this side of the windmill, we it was the home of this motherfucking person, something Wilson, blah, blah, blah. Just random. What the fuck is this? Why is this a thing? Why is this here? What does this even do? Okay. All right, well. <laughs> that was interesting. Wow, dude. That's so fucking weird, dude. All right. Let's walk back to the car. $10 if you pick up these plastic bottles and put them in the trash can. I don't have, I mean, I don't even see a trash can here. No, I'm not going to sit here and pick up fucking trash bottles and throw them away, dude. That's annoying. Well, I mean, since there's also no trash, I'll have a bag, so how would I do that? All right, well, that's... Wow. That was... I can't believe it. Alien. Most random fucking thing. Not... There shouldn't be any... Why would there be alien stuff anywhere? The fact that it showed itself there on that fucking random table. So fucking weird. Wow. All right, let's see, should we do another? And if we do, what next? They just, they just need to be in places that aren't fucking hard to get to. Like it's so, it was difficult to get to this exact spot, dude. You know what I mean? Like it took, I gotta park and fucking like walk and all this other shit. All right, what's, uh, what's, our, what's our next thing we're looking for? What do you want? What are we gonna do? What do we, uh, what's our next location? All right, it's gonna lag through this tunnel again, probably, so just bear with me. You'll see a UFO in your flight? Ah, oh, maybe, right? You, I mean, it is weird how September 7th, it did show itself there. Is that supposed to be me? Because it kind of looks like me a little bit, don't you think? Number 22 a day. Okay, wow. Oh, all right, interesting. Cool. Wow, that's weird. That's some weird ass shit. All right. <laughs> no, that could be anyone. That's just a basic drawing. All right, what's our next thing? What are we looking for next, chat? Put all of your energy and all of your, you know, thinking into what we're looking for next. All of your energy has to go there. Otherwise, it's not going to work, though, to, you know, affect the ripples of the quantum universe. Take a big rip for me, friend.
The app's called Around a Knot. Ah, there you go. I'm a little lightheaded now. I'm good. 6%. EBZ, Snoopy, hmm, Kimberly. Kimberly? I mean, what could represent Kimberly, though? Like a heart or something, right? But what could, hmm, I don't really know what would represent her. All right. Put all of your energy towards Kimberly. And let's see. Here, let's make multiple ones. Because then maybe it can all come together. Kimberly and EBZ. All right. So the next location, Kimberly, EBZ. Type it in the chat. Just say it one time. Kimberly, EBZ. Sounds bad. Just do it. And then hopefully that should create enough of a ripple to make the universe give us something. I mean, we're not finding treasure, but we're finding some fucking interesting ass shit, to be honest. All right, please, next location, please do not fucking make me walk through fucking hell. All right. All right, app, give it to me. You know what to do. Get the tractor, EBZ, Kimberly. Let's go. I feel like, so when I, I think I know also another trick the app does that's not just like quantum shit. There's like a more logical reasoning behind this, I think. When I downloaded the app, it asked to allow permissions on everything, like my contacts and my photos and, you know, everything. I gave it permission to my entire phone. So when people spam aliens in the chat, I think it led me to an alien. But then you, then you think, how does the app know there's a fucking alien on that random ass table with my flight date on the bench? I don't know. That's the problem. That, or that's the, that's the, you know, the missing equation piece there, you know? All right. Fuck, I'm so unhealthy. Whew. All right. How far are we? Map me, baby. All right. All right. Why did you map me 4,000 miles away? Not going there. All right. Type it again in the chat. Kimberly EBZ because it fucked up. Give me, give you my thirsty as shit. I need some water. All right. Let's go. 4,000 miles. Yeah, it, send, it, it, send, it went to the default in London because I forgot the give location. How are you out of breath in five minutes and you climb Mount Fuji? Dedication is a strong emotion, okay? When I climbed Mount Fuji, I had that dedication. And if you have, if you have dedication, you could do anything in this fucking world. I mean, I was dying climbing Mount Fuji, but I still did it because dedication. Alrighty. A mile away, let's go. Some, some fucking random neighborhood street. Six minutes away. All right, as long as I don't miss any fucking turns. <laughs> Six minutes, we don't miss turns. But I'm a professional turn messer, dude. If I drive the RV in Europe, I will take an extra three hours to get anywhere we're going. I mean, I guess it's not so bad. When we were driving the military truck back from Oklahoma to LA with uh, Scuff Steve Jobs, I was very much certain that he didn't know where he was going. I don't think he could read the signs <laughs> because we would circle around the same street like four times before we actually got out of there. And that happened multiple times. So at least I'm not as bad as that, but <laughs> you know, I can read the signs. I just miss them. Yeah, every time I open up the uh, the, the fucking random on it, la it fucking lags for a second, so just bear with me there. All right, baby, let's go. Six minutes. Start lifting again, you'll eat a lot. Yeah, I know. I mean, if I work out, my appetite will increase because when I used to work out, my appetite was pretty big. I used to eat 4,000 calories a day, or I, you know, I, I would try to at least. Oh, fuck, this is my turn. This is my turn. Yep, see, I did this. I mean, I didn't know there was a turn here. There's no sign or anything. It's, it's literally a random fucking ass street, dude. Alrighty.
but uh, yeah, I mean, I want to work out again. I just know that there's going to be times I don't have time to work out. Like, for example, when I'm in Europe for three weeks, when am I going to have time to work out? And it would suck if I work out and then I have to stop for a week because I don't really have time or I get caught up with something and then, you know, I wouldn't really get progress that way. But I was more so going to do cardio training instead of muscle training because I need more cardio. I don't really care about having big muscles anymore, but I could use some motherfucking ass cardio because I feel like shit when I walk upstairs. <laughs> I'm out of breath and stuff. And also, I like vaping though. Can you work out and vape? Like, can you have good cardio when you vape? Yeah, you're right. I mean, games don't disappear in a couple days, but there are times where I'm where I'm traveling and doing stuff for the stream. I am probably going to eat, be eating like shit food or not enough food. Like, I have a fast metabolism. I need to eat at least 3,000 calories a day to gain weight. So, and there, if I'm on an RV, I can't hit that. I mean, maybe I could, but you guys, you don't want to watch me eat all day. That's like, that's the problem. I could hit it, but I don't want to eat fucking food all day. There is always time to work out. When EBZ went camping with his BF Danny, he did 250 push-ups and 500 sit-ups in the dirt. I mean, maybe I'm just a scuffed motherfucker, though. Or then. But I think the eating is the problem, not the working out. You know what I mean? 3,000, 4,000 calories, that's a lot. You know what I mean? And I don't want my entire streams, you know, if I'm streaming for six hours... I don't want my whole or half my stream to be me eating fucking, a, you know, a chicken breast or something. Like, that's not going to be any fun. When I was Leonidas 44, there were some times where I would smoke weed and then go work out. You know, light workout. I wouldn't do the full body workout that day. I would do like some light, you know, bicep curls and things like that. I don't know what it was, but I couldn't do as many reps and I couldn't do as much weight, but it just felt good, you know? It, they could feel the blood going into your arm, dude. What jewel pod? Uh, this is just pink lemonade. That's my flavor. <laughs> I don't know. But when I uh, cut my thumb off and I stopped working out for, you know, forever, <laughs> the first, like, three days, I could already tell my muscles had deflated, so I don't know really demotivating. Alrighty. We're almost there. 0. 0.6 miles. Let's see what we got here. Nicotine dependence. I don't have nicotine dependence. I just enjoy nicotine. I mean, sometimes I go all day without vaping. I just forget about it, but I just enjoy the, like, you know, when you, when you take a hit of a jewel, it, like, gives you a rush, like a, like a head rush or something, like, a rush of energy out of nowhere. I think it feels good. I don't know. I like it. It's kind of like drinking a monster, but it's instant. Alrighty, so, where the fuck are we? Alright, we're going through some random motherfucking neighborhood. 20, okay. I would actually not mind living out here, this is dope. Some nice fucking nature and shit, what the fuck? All these nice walls. Alrighty. Run through all this shit. Happy birthday, Ice. Oh, my birthday is not till the 29th of September. We're almost there, I'll be 25. What am I gonna do on my 25th birthday? What did any of you guys do on your 25th birthday? Anything special? Because I feel like that's a pretty big milestone. That's half of 50, a quarter of 100. And, you know, five years to 30. <laughs> so, you know, that's when you start to feel old, I think. 25. Maybe not. Maybe 30 is when you start to feel old. I don't know. I don't really do much for any of my birthdays. I just go out to eat. You know what I did on my 21st birthday? I was live streaming on Twitch, and I drank a Four loco. <laughs> that was my 21st birthday. Sitting in my room, Four loco, fucking live on Twitch. Playing RuneScape. Alright, so we park here. This is the spot. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. 
remember, EBZ or Kimberly should be some kind of hint over here. So, let's see. I hope it's not in this person's house. Let me look at the map. I really like this app when the shit works because it allows me to just like talk to chat but also gives us something to do even if it's like remedial. Alright, one minute walk. We go straight to the left here. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. It's just in the road it looks like. Some, these are nice fucking houses, what the hell? Alrighty, yeah, I don't know what remedial means. Of course I do. Alrighty. I'm not gonna get hit, there's no cars coming. There's no sidewalk, so. <laughs> Just walking in the road, dude. Alrighty. What do we got here? Is it, is, I think it's in this alleyway. Let me see. Give me exact coordinates. We are standing directly on it all right so something in this area is supposed to represent ebz and or kimberly so let's figure it out as i look like a fucking re retarded moron walking in front of these people's houses the thing that worries me though is that it could be in this person's like backyard. Like I don't, it says it's not in the map, but some of the hints that we find aren't very close to the marker. Alrighty. Fuck it dude, breaking it. Breaking and entering. Chump the fence. Hmm, no, that's how you get shot. These nice houses, these people have guns for sure. It's Texas baby. Check the mailbox. Okay, hold on. It's not in a bush or anything. 21, that means nothing. Could be on that side of the road too. It's getting dark. Alrighty. I mean, these are like a, like townhouses or something, so it's not actually somebody's house. But it's still a locked gate. Hmm. I wonder, where, oh where? This one might be a fluke again, but then again, it took us quite a bit to find the alien thing at the spot last time, so let's look at everything. That means nothing. All oh, that means nothing. Hmm. There's nothing on that side of the road on the floor. I could go, okay, let me look through the door in the fence. But it's like sketchy, because I think that somebody's like fucking townhouse, dude. Let's see. Let me just, uh, I mean, I don't think it's his backyard. I think it's like a shared thing where it's like, uh, you know, different like units own this backyard. So I could just be like somebody's friend. So let's see, because there's nothing out here. I don't see anything like on the trees or anything. No, it's just a normal backyard. With a grill, huh? Maybe the grill. No, that's stupid. That's retarded. Cause I, I grilled, no, there's grills everywhere. I've grilled with EBZ and Kimberly. That's stupid. That's, there's, there's grills literally everywhere, dude. Take the grill, dude. No. Alrighty. I, I'm starting to look like a fucking burglar, so. <laughs> the fuck is that thing? The fuck is that thing? I mean, this has to be the hint, right? What the fuck is that? 
Opera. What is that? Why is this here next to this guy's car? Fucking dead animal skull? Is that a human? Like a human skull or something, dude. What kind of skull is that? No, it's like a ram. What is that? Bro, what the fuck? That must be it. I mean, that has nothing to do with EBZ or Kimberly, though. But that is interesting. I don't know if that's just... I don't know if that's part of the app or if that's actually, like, a thing. Ted Moose Meat. What kind of... Hmm. What kind of animal is that, though? Is that, if it's a gator skull, then we have something. But what is the skull? Like, I can't tell. I don't think that's an alligator. I think it's, like, a fucking... Like a ram or something. Should I take it? <laughs> Do I really want a dead animal skull? I mean, I, I mean, I'll take it. It's kind of cool, but I just don't want to get a fucking like a disease or something. I mean, why? Is, I just don't know why it's in this dude's driveway. It's a deer skull. Gotcha. Okay. I'll just take it. Why not, dude? It seems like a cool thing. Is that really a deer skull? It kind of looks like a Neanderthal. Literally just sitting in this dude's, like, driveway. Is it? I don't know if this is, like, his property or not. I don't want to be stealing this dude's fucking skull. Yeah. Nice to see you streaming, Paul. Happy Friday. Leave it Love, Susie. Because I don't need that. I don't want to steal this dude's shit but that's weird i mean thank you dude i appreciate that Susie. that has to be it though right guys <laughs> but that has nothing to do with ebz or kimberly it's just like a deer skull or something well that's still an interesting find nonetheless but not what we're looking for somebody put the wrong energy in the chat to show a motherfucking ass skull of something dead Like I said, some of the hints are a little bit off the markers. Could be over here, but it's not going to be in this fucking person's house. There's a squirrel. No, it's not. What is that? It's a fake squirrel. No. Okay, no shitting on the grass from the dog. check the house for sale i mean it is for sale so nobody lives here right no somebody could possibly live here i don't want to just walk in somebody's fucking front yard dude and look for like look around for shit dude i just feel weird like i don't know like there's nothing on this dude's yard i don't feel comfortable looking at his yard either shot dude huh nothing on the stop signs either I don't know I don't think I think uh, the skulls is all we got but that's not what we were looking for so it's less cool like yeah alright find something interesting sure but it's not what we're looking for so it's not as cool hmm Oh, we were talking about death. That doesn't mean anything. That was a long time ago. All right, let's go. There's nothing here. I need some water, though. I didn't find water. We didn't find hints about EBZ or Kimberly. Motherfucking ass. Nothing, bro. God damn it. I was really hoping that we would bring, it would bring me water, but... It is what it is, I guess. Obviously placed there, you think so? No, I don't think so. I mean, I just don't know why there's a, yeah, why there's a skull in the dude's driveway, it's fucking weird. 
It manifested because you were talking about death? Yeah, but that was before the location before the last one. I don't know. Okay, let's see. What do we want to manifest right now? Water. Give me fucking water. I need, please, manifest me some fucking water or something to drink. Bring me somewhere where there's water. Okay? Bring me somewhere that I can drink out of. Maybe not a store, or it could be a store. I don't know. Just bring me to a store. Bring me to 7-Eleven. Or like a fucking, you know, somewhere with, with liquids that I can drink. Uh, because I'm dying right now of dehydration. Manifest tracksuit, bro. Maybe. Bro, just don't give me vodka, bro. If it gives me, like, alcohol, no. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna be even more dehydrated. Alrighty. Got our spot? Where are we going? <laughs> no way, dude. Bro, it brought me to the Colorado River. It literally brought me to the river. Bruh. Alright, let's go. Maybe there's more there than just water, though. So let's go check it out. But it's getting dark, so I have a flashlight. Actually, no, the flashlight's in the house. We gotta hurry. It's starting to get dark. Colorado River. I'm not drinking out of no fucking dirty-ass, disgusting fucking river, dude. Like, there's probably Throw that skull out of the car, it's an ancient skull from 200 years ago and it kills anyone who holds it, that's why that person left it outside, I'm warning you, good luck, eyes. Well, good thing I left it in front of the guy's house, and it's not with me, so we're good. Alright, Colorado River, we gotta hurry before it gets too dark. Well, let's go. Yeah, no, that ain't no... No, I, let, I didn't take it, I touched it, I didn't, I didn't wash my hands, dude. I got fucking dead fucking ancient magic on me, dude. On my fucking hand. Or just bacteria from maggots eating the meat off of the dead animal. One of the two. It was probably just a, like a hunter who left his shit outside. I don't really know. Alrighty. Eight minutes. Besides water is over there, though. I mean, I guess I'll drink out of the fucking river, but... I'd rather not drink out of the dirty ass river. I was hoping there'd be like a bottle of water on the floor. Or maybe there is. We'll see. My phone's just listening to me. I mean, it could be. It does have access to my microphone, but that's still a pretty... It's pretty good technology, but if it is, to be honest. But I don't think it is. I asked for water last time, too, and it didn't bring us the water. drink on the way to be honest. I'm super sweaty. The guy's house had a hose. <laughs> yeah, but I'll look like a fucking bum trying to drink out of the dude's hose. Probably come out with a fucking shotgun and be like, get the fuck off my property. Like, if I walked outside my house that is clearly three million plus dollars, and there was some guy fucking drinking out of my hose, I would be like, get the fuck out of here, what are you doing? Like, I would, that would not fly, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I live in this nice neighborhood, out of the way, middle of nowhere, stop drinking out of my shit. Oh, I've actually been here before, I've walked, uh, I've walked Snoopy here before. This is uh, a dog park as well. So I wonder, what could be at a dog park? Alright, we'll find out. Three million? I mean, the house looked like it was at least three million. It was a pretty nice and big house. Can you send me twenty dollars for some weed? Uh, I mean, if you come over to, if you come to, come to Austin, bro. And if you see me, we'll smoke weed. But, not sending twenty dollars for weed, unfortunately. There are people that do message me and they ask for money. They're just like, hey man, I can I fucking have like $10? I'm 
I just hit my Twitter DMs randomly and I'm just like, eh, no, sorry, but, you know, you know, the, the, thanks for asking. And how many times, and people give them $10, doesn't seem like a lot, but how many $10 they could get from people, you know? Even a dollar, it's like, yo, can I have a dollar? And then, and you just message everybody on Twitter. And if even like 50 people give you a dollar, that's $50. You know, that's not, that's not a bad uh, passive income. Wait, hold on. What? It wants me to go in there? That is a gated neighborhood. Can I have your love and affection? Uh, yeah, I mean, let me see. Of course. Thank you, Cloud10. I appreciate it. This is... Hmm. Hmm. I asked for water, and it's in this gated neighborhood. Fuck. I mean, if somebody opens the gate, we can just drive through, because it's a neighborhood. It's not a house, so it's fine. But... We're not waiting for a car. I think if we drive that way, there's... I'm hoping there's not a gate around the entire neighborhood. I'm hoping it's just a gate on the road. So then we can just walk in from the side. So let's try that. Where is the shit, dude? Alrighty, I think I can just actually, yeah, park right over here. There's parking. I don't think I can get in here, chat. These are all people's houses on the side of the road. It looks like there's a parking spot up here. But it could just be someone's house. Why is, why is this shit gated off? What is this? Why does the map tell me to go this way? Do not enter. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to get inside this one. It's surrounded by houses and fucking gates and stuff. So, don't think this is happening. But it's very... <laughs> kind of funny, it brought me to the river though. But it doesn't work, app, if I can't even enter the fucking goddamn place that I'm supposed to go. Fuck, alright. This ain't happening, let's get out of here. There's like, gates all around, dude. We're in like rich people territory right now. Look at that. Okay. It's too dark. Gated community, I know I'm used to that. Alrighty, let's stop here for a sec. Let's give us the next one. Is this the West Hills? I don't know where the fuck I'm at. Colorado River, that's where we're at. Alright, app, you did, you failed me this time. There, we can't even, we're 700 feet away, fuck you, we can't get in there. Some dude's backyard. Fuck you, app, you failed me. Let's try this again. Yeah, it keeps happening every time I open the app. Routine, regular ass routine. Alright. Where are you bringing us up? Okay, hold on, my phone's fucking up. Okay. CX in the chat or you'll die of cancer. Alrighty, that's not, that's not very, uh, that's not a way to do it. But thank you, dude. Anyways, I appreciate it. Alright, still looking for a spot? Come on, find it, baby. I mean, we are like on a hill somewhere, so this is probably not the best place to call for this thing, but we'll see. Alright, no cancer for anybody in the chat. Uh, George Bush is... In, okay, thank, thanks for the media, dude. I don't have media on, but thank you, dude. Alright, come on. Where are we going, baby? Give it to daddy.
Hmm. The other ones it found like two seconds. This one's taking fucking. Don't go to that neighborhood. It has been haunted for over two hundred years. If you step foot in the neighborhood, you will be cursed for life and eventually die. It's fine, dude. I've already been cursed for life. It's fine. Fuck it, dude. It's not a big deal. What's another three curses, dude? All right, let's. I mean, we all eventually die anyway, so what's a curse? Actually, it'd be kind of cool to be cursed. Like, maybe, depending on the curse. If it was like one of those Egyptian curses that's going to come eat you, that could be interesting. Imagine a bunch of scabs flying around fucking downtown Austin trying to eat me. I don't know. It would just be one for the books. Alright, I'm, I'm just driving down off the hill right now because the internet's kind of like scuffed up here, so... And then hopefully by the time we get off this hill, there's going to be a new location. Unable to find. No anomalies found. Fuck you. Give me another one. Let me try again. Look, give me water. Water, baby. Water. Not the Colorado River. It is pretty dark now, but I'm pretty close to downtown, so if it brings me to a place in downtown, then, you know, there's light, so... Just don't bring me to the middle of fucking nowhere, or like a forest or something. And we'll be good, without light. Okay, yesterday we had to get a flashlight just to go in the woods though. I'm not going in the woods right now, fuck that. The app name's, uh, just look up Randonaut on Google. Randonaut. Alright, we got a spot. Where are we going? Some street. A mile away. Downtown. It's bringing us to... Good old, uh, near downtown. Alright, let's go. Five minutes. Give me water, baby. It's in the middle of the street, though, so I'm not... Probably not water. I mean, it could just be a fucking store. I don't know. Let's go there and find out, and then figure it out from there. Yeah, no, it's getting dark, but we're going back to the city, so it's fine. Get off the road is haunted. Did you know that 200 years ago the slaves worked on that road and they used their dead bodies as pavement? Okay. You will be cursed if you continue when I'm warning you ice. Use their, use their bodies as, as pavement. It's a pretty good pavement, bro. I don't see no cracks in the road. Um, well, I'm getting off the road now, so thank God for that. I mean, pretty much that's everywhere in the U.S., though. I mean, everywhere in the U.S. has been built by slaves, so. I mean, getting off this road just brings me to another fucking road that was built by slaves as well way back in the day. Why the fuck would I shit in the street? I mean, yeah, it would be funny, but what does that achieve? Except, uh, me going to jail and being a fucking pedo for putting, <laughs> pulling my pants down in public. Alrighty. Gotta turn somewhere. 
have everyone on the RV set up random odd and occasionally just kick someone out and say Bit don't come back till you find me an artifact. Yeah, there was, uh, we talked a little bit yesterday about like some mini games that I had in mind. So that's actually a good idea. They have to go out and find something. I would love to just, you know, do some mini games and give people, you know, give other people on the road trip mini games as well. And we can all like collectively work towards something, some bigger goal. I think that would be really cool. I don't know about the quantum artifacts because honestly, it could be anything. They could pick up fucking trash and say it was, it was an artifact. But maybe I could have them explain it to me. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I'm sure there's other apps that you actually find something or I just give them an object, like, go find this thing. But again, if, them, if they don't find it, then a punishment ensues. <laughs> no streaming for the next week. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Ramna Hamad's severed heads and shit. Yeah, bro. Playing this fucking artifact game in, well, I don't know, dude, like the Middle East. That would be sketchy as fuck. It would bring me to a fucking landmine and I would die, honestly. Or if I did it in like North Africa, I'd do a fucking dead bomb. Ice, I mean, Paul, do you have lots of normie activities planned for the EU trip? I mean, I don't have any activities planned. Uh, we'll just figure it out when we get there, but I'm lagging, so you guys probably didn't hear me when I said that, huh? Alright, like I said before, I lagged. Uh, I don't have any activities planned for the uh, trip. We'll just have to play it by year. I don't know what day exactly we're going to be in different countries, so when we get to the country, you know, we'll look up some stuff to do. I'm sure there's plenty of things to do in every country we go to. But, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of the old, uh, good old-fashioned zip lining, boating, you know, things like that. I don't know. Things will be fun. Going to avoid going around to and doing the same thing in every country. Like, there's no point in traveling Europe if I go do the same thing in every country. And every city I go to is the same fucking thing. Everything, hopefully, should be different in every uh, city or country we go to. There's no way, I said I arrived. There's no way, how did I just arrive? Let me pull over. I'm at a church. This that can't be it. The only Egyptian curse I see you here is your big ass nose. Dude, you look like Lois from Family Guy. Fuck it, dude. I'm fine with that. That's fine. I'm fine. Like, oh, I like having a big nose. It makes me smart. It means my brain is expanded out to my nose. Alright. Reverse. It's not the church. I drove too far. It's back here. I didn't know we were right on it. Dude, there's a bunch of churches here. Where are we? Okay, so it's right on right up here. One second chat, I'm looking at the map. Exactly here. All right, let me park right here then. Where do I park? One second. Park on the side here. It's like some dude's house. Once again, we're at the fucking house. All right. 
got. It's definitely no water. Get out of that car right now. It's haunted. Continue on foot. That car has been cursed because 200 years ago a guy named a Mexican Andy died in it and he is not the car. You will get acne all over you. I read your mind, bro. Alright, so it's exactly like right over here in front of this guy's house. So I said I wanted water. So what do we got here? Hmm, well, I don't like when this app brings me to people's houses, because what am I supposed to do? I can't walk to this dude's house. I can't walk in this dude's house. Like, yeah, there's probably water in his house. Dams, cities, roads, power lines, pretty much all the infrastructure didn't even exist during slavery. All they did was pick cotton. Well, I'm talking more about the roads. It's too dark, I can't really see anything. But there's nothing on the floor, or there's nothing around here anyways. Yeah, it's literally just a neighborhood of people's houses. Alright, the app has failed once again. We're done. We're done with it. It's brought us to just some random fucking place with nothing. The one alien find was cool, but every other spot we've gone to had nothing. So one out of the four locations we went to had only had something. So that's a 25% chance that the app works which is pretty bad when you have to drive all over the place and walk to obscure ass locations. How Paul felt after Mexican Andy died. How did I feel? <laughs> EBZ quitter quitter dude. What, is he, what do you mean? Mexican Andy didn't die, what are you talking about? I don't want to like look through people's fucking trash cans, dude. This look like a fucking, once again, like an idiot. Like, this guy's gonna be like, get the fuck out of our trash can. Huh. Alrighty. Well, actually, the finding the animal skull, too. Yeah, you're right. It was cool. A group of girls. Maybe they'll give me water. They sound like they're young, though. I don't like that. What is this? What's, is there anything across the street? No, there's a bunch of dudes there, too. Yeah, do y'all have any, uh, is there any water around here? There's a rainbow down there. Okay, I was looking, quantum physics told me to come here for water. Oh, you look familiar. Jake Paul. Do you have a YouTube channel? I do. What is it called? I mean, you might know it. Yeah, let me sub. I mean, you might know it. I don't even need to say it. Who is it? I don't know. Wait, what is it called? I don't know it. You might know it. Oh, wait, what is it called? I play Fortnite. No, you don't. What is I, it called? I swear to God. Wait, what is it called? What is it called, actually? I mean, you... Can you just tell me? I, I, I don't know. I can't tell you. No, I'm sorry. I don't know. I, I can't tell you. I can't I tell you. Do you know who, uh, Daquan is? Yes. yes. Shut up. That's my cousin. Cross the street to where the oh, metal okay. ravine is. There will be water under there. I said the F word. Um, no. Ice Poseidon, dude. What? Ice Poseidon. That's my name. Poseidon? Ice Poseidon, yes. Ice how do you spell it? Ice? Ice. Like frozen water, ice. Oh, you popped up real quick. Oh, shit. 
750k. Oh, and that's you too. <laughs> Do you have? Uh, Are we in the vlog? Yeah, well, I'm live streaming. I'm looking for water. You're live streaming. Qu Qu here, you in Quanta, right, 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 right. Here it Here comes. <laughs> Quanta, Quanta, quantum uh, physics told me to come here for water, but I don't see any water around here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, show your friends. You're like, yeah, I don't know who this guy is. Let's take a photo with him. Is that, is that the water I'm looking for? Here, you want to sip? Yes. Right. Well, no, it's not yours. You don't know me, so it's weird. Well, I mean, you're I ice like, Poseidon, like you. so you're ice Poseidon. And I'm not going to, like, take the Gatorade from you. That would be rude of me. Okay. What do you guys do? Your name Paul? How'd you know that? Because on your Instagram. Yes. That's <laughs> me. You have an Instagram? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, how how old are you? 800 What? He's... Thirteen, I'm dude. Like, if I had an Instagram at thirteen, my mom would beat me. Okay, no, really? we're like because I, you know, like, she twenty four because yeah, she my mom was actually chill. because she if my mom found out I had social media at thirteen, she would be afraid. I, no I get kidnapped. You You're not afraid of like getting kidnapped by somebody. I mean, I recognize you. Right, but I'm saying if you have an Instagram, you wouldn't be afraid of like somebody catfishing you and kidnapping oh, it's, you. It's dude, elite college football. Okay, that's good then. Say my name. Elite college football's got a who? 300,000 followers. Who's that? Follow Dude, they follow you. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> oh my God. Is, okay, it, wait, is, gonna, is that a football how people, thing? How many people are watching right now? Dude, Nobody. Said, Nobody? Nobody. No, actually, how many people? I don't know, like 2,000? 2, 2,000 people are watching right now. That's it. <laughs> wait, wait, what, what, are you, what are you streaming on? You know, I drank a monster when I was 14. I had a heart attack. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, I almost died. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are you streaming on? On YouTube. <laughs> on YouTube? Yeah. Nice. Are you, did you say the, how old are you? I, I, I'm 14. Bro, you can't say the F word, that's bad. Yo! It's a... <laughs> <laughs> you can't say the F word, that's bad. You guys Sorry. need to, no, it's okay. See, uh, you're a respectful kid, I like that. This is so hilarious. Okay, turn it off, turn it off. I don't like Who's the youngest one here? I am. How old are you? 13. He's okay. the oldest on the second one. Dude, so funny. He's the middle. We're both 14. Now that, wow, I can't imagine. This is how I it's looked a, at okay. 13. Holy okay, crap. We're all at, Probably we're not, because we're like short for our grade. Yeah. yeah. Really I mean, I guess. I mean, when I was 13, I was probably like 5'11". Really? Yeah. Oh, so you peaked early. Dude, I got Yeah, I, I had a mustache at four, like, like, at like 8 or something, dude. <laughs> and ice Hold on, I need, I need to turn the glasses. Aren't your parents going to be worried that you're out here with some random guy? Dude, your eyes Poseidon. Everyone in my family subs. No, we're walking. All right. Thank you. Wait, you live in Austin? Uh, yeah, I live somewhere around here, this area. No, we we want, we want, we want. No, 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 we're not like. Like Terrytown area? I mean, it doesn't matter, but you know, yeah. somewhere around Austin. All right. That's yeah, just get your whole family to sub, your dog, everything. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Should, we, should we tell them this is Westlake? What do you mean? This is Westlake. What is what is that? I mean, I've only lived here for three months, uh, so I don't know yeah, everywhere. Oh yeah, this area is called Westlake. Yeah, this area is called. Wait, who are you? Yeah, are you so friends with any other YouTubers? Like, this is ice like All of them. Dick Ron Dylan. Who? Dick Ron Dylan. I don't know who that is. You know, Can. Faze Banks. <laughs> Do you know Faze Banks? Yeah, that's my homie. Actually? Like, y'all know each other? Well, I mean, yeah. I've talked to him. Yeah, he came on uh, my stream and shaved people's heads and after I tortured them. Sick. Wait, so... I Yeah. Kid with the jug, give a man a drink. Goddamn, he's going to die. He is so thirsty. <laughs> no, listen, I'm not taking their drinks, chat, okay? That's retarded. Yo, chat, chat. What do you guys aspire to be when you grow everyone up? Everyone go follow me on Instagram. No, don't say your Instagram. Travis Josie don't, that's, if you're, that's not good, Girl bro. Reeves yeah. underscore 05. You guys, that's, don't that's stop sad. saying your Instagram. You don't know these people. You don't I'd want them. I'd be so honored you if don't... he took a sip from my monster. <laughs> this sounds fucking weird. All right, let me take a sip then. Yeah. Dude, I'm going to turn it Dude, I'm... I've turned it into ice oh, like, oh, what are you doing? Are you doing like a challenge or? Uh, yeah, I'm doing, I'm just doing, I'm doing an app that like talks about quantum physics and stuff and they're supposed to lead me to like hints about my life. But it's, it hasn't led me to really anything to be honest. Um, what do you guys aspire to be when you grow up? Yo, I'm going to be in the MLB, oh, NFL, no. NBA, so, so, wait, so why are you NHL, talking to us maybe? about challenges? Uh, One of your fans just DM me, get away from me, the child abductor fast. Yeah, that's why I told you not to shout out your Instagram, dude, because obviously you don't, no, I actually know, your you don't know these people, and I I it's kind of dangerous when you're 13. Oh, sorry, bro. You gotta get out of the way, I 
Oh, yeah, we're blocking their driveway. All right, bro. Have a good day. All right. Nice seeing you guys. Yeah, have fun. Bye-bye. Yeah. It was good. I signed. Hell yeah, bro. Gang, gang, gang. <laughs> there we go. Hell yeah. Have a good day. Bye. All right. Later, dudes. Yeah, Randall's right down the street. All right. Thanks. Dude, he's awesome. That's right. I'll remember you. <laughs> no, I'm going to my car. Don't worry. Yeah. Hey, you want to come over here? I'm just kidding. Fucking, let's get some out of you out here, dude. <laughs> Alrighty. What can I say? I'm a child's mentor. I'm a good influence to the children of America. Am I not? <laughs> ah, dude, I'm dying of thirst. That monster did not help. That caffeine's gonna dehydrate me even further. Alright, I, 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 don't, don't shout out your Instagram, kid. Fucking. Fucking bunch of weirdos on the internet. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Uh, and that was cool though. Cool kids. Bro, when I was 13, I looked like that. When we were all 13, we looked like that. They were so young. Like, they're so little. Like, I don't know. It always blows my mind when I see little kids because I can remember when I was 13. And I thought... <laughs> Like, I thought I was, like, an adult by that point. You know what I mean? I was a rebel kind of kid, so I thought I was an adult. I thought I could move out, live alone, this and that. You know, I thought I was, like, independent. But in reality, that's what I look like. So, you know, just like, a, you know, like, a, clearly a child. So, it just blows my mind. Because I remember how I was when I was 13. Although I was a, you know, a tall ass kid with a mustache, so I had, I did hit puberty early, but I was still looking pretty young in the face. Yeah, I mean, apparently this is the rich side of town, I don't know. Very nice houses. <laughs> I don't even know where I am, to be honest, I've never been here. I need to figure out how to get the fuck out of here. Young in the face, dude. Yeah, I mean, when I was young, I was looking like a child. But now I look like a fucking... I got wrinkles in my face at 24. <laughs> oh, man. The aging process is uh, intense. Okay. They probably saw me on fucking drama alert or some shit. That's usually how kids know me. They always know me for the bad, the bad reasons. But that's kind of funny. Just wait till you're 28. I don't want to wait till I'm 28, dude. I'm not excited for it. Dude, my mom would never let me walk around by myself at 13. Like, she was very, like, protective of me. A lot of weirdos out there, you know? She was always afraid I was going to get kidnapped online, so I was never allowed to have, like social media or anything. I had a MySpace, but she didn't know about it. Alright, let me map how to get the fuck out of here. I don't want to see neighborhood all over the place. I mean, it has. Stress definitely has aged me a little bit. Bruh, the past, the past four years of my life have been definitely had some points where they, where it was filled with hella stress. So, it is what it is, though. I mean, I feel like anyone goes, I feel like anyone goes through stress, though, you know, in any kind of job that they have. So, I don't know. But I have definitely been through my fair share. How old am I? 24 years old. People 
people say I don't look it, but 24. Because <laughs> I have autism, that's why I couldn't walk alone. I mean, you can walk alone with autism, dude. You're not fucking incapable. I just can't really, you know, when I was younger, I had issues talking to people. But, you know, I got over that. If my life was in danger, I could talk to people. Can't blame the autism on everything. How old were you when your parents found out you smoked weed? 15 a year and my mom was pissed. Yeah, um, the first time I smoked weed, I was 15. At the mall, there was like a, a, a woodsy area next uh, by the mall. So I told my parents to drop me off at the mall. They dropped me off at the mall. I walked to the woods with my drug dealer, not my friend. He was not my, like, I didn't hang out with him ever. He was just a guy I went to my school. He was in my class. He offered me to, you know, he offered to sell me weed. Go to the forest. I give him 30. No, I remember. I think I gave him like $45 for a gram of weed. He was obviously scamming the fuck out of me because I was a fucking noob and I had no idea how to buy weed and I had no friends and he could just take advantage of me. $45 for a gram. But it, does, it doesn't end there. $45 for the gram and then he smoked it with me and then he took the remainder. <laughs> so I paid $45 for him to smoke me out, basically. Which obviously is retarded now that I think about it. Uh, but I didn't fucking know. You know what I mean? I was, I was fucking stupid. Um, I remember I... That was the same kid I bought Molly from when I was 16. Uh, I bought the Molly for like $50 when the shit goes for like fucking 10. Literally two weeks cutting the grass uh, in front of my parents' house for getting scammed, dude. But yeah, so uh, my parents didn't find out about me smoking weed for, I don't even know, a couple times. I did, probably a couple months. You know, I didn't smoke very often, but I did smoke enough. I think one time when I asked them to drop me off at the mall, they did. And then when they picked me up, I smelled like weed and I, my eyes were really fucking red. I think that was like what happened. I don't really remember though. And then, you know, they were questioning me. Oh no, I remember. It wasn't the mall. They picked me up at this kid's house uh, that, we, that I smoked weed at. And then, you know, when they picked me up, they're like, what did you do? And I was high as fuck, so I could barely talk. I'm like, I didn't really do anything. And they're just like, yeah, they knew, like, something was up. Like, they, they were like, did you smoke weed? And I'm like, no. And then, that was the first assumption they had. And then, actually, when I was in autism camp is when I told them. Well, sort of. I told my counselor at autism camp that I had smoked weed before in the past. And then they told my parents. And then when I called my parents, when I got my one phone call a week to talk to my parents, my mom was like, you've smoked weed before? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, just a couple times. So that's how they found out. And then obviously, uh, this was like when I was 15, yeah. No, the, night, well, the first time I smoked weed must have been 14. I was in eighth grade, must have been 14 then. So I was 15 at the autism camp. And then, you know, obviously at that point, I had just, I just, was open with them. I was like, yeah, I'm going to go smoke weed. Now, when I got out of the camp, I was like, I'm going to go buy weed. I'm going to go smoke weed. My parents didn't like it. They were like, you shouldn't smoke weed. It kills your brain cells. It's bad for you. All the fucking reefer madness bullshit. And then eventually they stopped giving a fuck and they just were like, all right, you're going to go smoke weed. It's fine. Whatever. And now, I mean, obviously they don't give a fuck. So <laughs> that's the story. I don't know if you guys can relate to that at all with your parents finding out if you smoke. Was it like a bad reaction or a good one? Bad for developing brains? Well, I only smoked weed a couple times. I really started smoking when I was like 18, 17 or 18, because I had a car I could drive around and like go smoke uh, with people because, you know, they would like smoke me out to drive them somewhere. have autism, <laughs> it doesn't matter if you smoke or not, I mean, maybe, I don't know about that one, bro, my autism doesn't make, like, it doesn't hinder my development of my brain, 
you know, I just have some disconnections with emotions sometimes, but, you know, I can still think like a normal person. I'm also not very high on the scale of autism either. You know, it's like a, I'm on the spectrum, but I'm not really, you know, autistic. But to be fair, I don't, I mean, personally, I don't really think I have autism. Maybe it's something else, but I don't think I have autism. But that's just what my doctor said when, you know, when I was younger. He said I had Asperger's. Do I have Asperger's? I don't really know. Maybe I did when I was younger because I was really fucking awkward. But now that I'm older, I think I've grown out of it, to be honest. I don't know about you, but when I started smoking, I suddenly started taking a lot of naps and shutting the door for three hours. Shutting the door for three hours? What do you mean? Is that a meme? Like a throwback to my old shit? Or what does that mean? I mean, weed will definitely make you fucking nap. That is for goddamn sure. I mean, even nowadays, I don't smoke that much weed. You know, a little bit here and there. That's really it. My parent caught me shoplifting baseball cards. Worst day of my life. Lamau. Oh, man. You must be like 35 years old. Baseball cards? Those were like big in the 80s, right? Oh, man. Yeah, if my parents ever caught me stealing, I would get a swift beating. I have never stolen from a store. Uh, around my parents, at least. Like, I, they would beat the fuck out of me if I did that. They'd be like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Just pay for the shit. You know, the only thing that I've really done in terms of, like, stealing, I do this because it's not, like, it is stealing, but it's not, like, malicious, I feel. The only, like, stealing that I've done is I'll go into a store and I'll eat. Have you ever smoked ancient weed from 200 years? Uh, I'll go into the store, I'll eat, like, chips or, like, drink, like, some fucking, like, soda or something and not pay for it. Like, I'll eat food inside the grocery store, finish it before I leave, and then that's, like, what I've done before. I don't do that often, but you know, I've done it before, obviously. <laughs> so I think I think that's something most people have done though. I've never smoked ancient weed and I don't really want to. Thank you, dude. That's gonna curse me for life. Thank you, dude. That's common shit. Yeah, that's why I say it's like stealing, because it's like, come on, everyone has done that at least once in their life. Sometimes you just get thirsty in a store, you drink the whole fucking soda, and then you're like, why would I pay for this? It's already over. I should throw it away. Especially if you're in like Walmart or something, like it's fucking Walmart, you know what I mean? I don't think they're gonna notice a missing can of soda. I joined a whole two liter of Mountain Dew. Well, that's that's a little bit more risky now, but hey, whatever. I've always been too scared to steal from the store. I always feel like I'll just get caught and I didn't want to go to jail for something so stupid. You know, stealing a fucking dollar soda would be retarded to go to jail for. When did you lose your virginity? I was, uh, I think I was 16 at a party that my friend invited me to. I didn't really know anyone there, but I was, I, we just got, we were in class and like, I don't know, whatever. And we were just both drunk. We were just talking a little bit and <laughs> went in the, one of the rooms and just did a thing. Just had sex. It was really bad. No condom. Fucking had issues pulling out. Like, I'd pull out and I, I, I would think I'm gonna come because I'm afraid of like coming inside of the fucking chick to get her pregnant. So I'm like afraid of coming. So I fucking pull out and then the cum doesn't come out because I pulled out too early. And I just, I did that like four times. And she's like, What the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, I don't want to get you pregnant. I'm scared. And then I finally managed to just 
get her to fucking suck my dick and then I just came. Yeah. Not a very good story. It was pretty bad. Bad experience. The chick hated me. Never talked to me again. But, you know, I don't really give a shit. I got my nut. It's not a romantic losing your virginity story. But I don't think anyone ever has stories like that, right? Dude, where the fuck am I? This is some ghetto ass shit. All right, let me get a water real quick. But I've done that a lot. I've pulled out, like, I've had the issue where I pull out way too many times during sex because I think I'm going to nut. And it, it really just, it turns the girl off and it kind of turns me off too. Like, it fucks with me too. I don't know if you guys ever had that issue, but I don't know. Sometimes you just, I just don't know when I'm going to nut and then I just, I just have, I play it safe and pull out early as fuck. Go the water. Just wear a condom? No. I mean, listen, sometimes I do. But the thing When I was 16, I took shrooms and tore up my homie's apartment and nearly got punched out then streaked at 4 a.m. and almost got teased by the cops. Then groped the nurse in the hospital. Where's the, let me ask this guy for water. Yeah, I mean, that sounds awful. I'm sorry that happened, dude, but a good story to say. Oh, uh, here it is. Um, yeah, condoms aren't great because I don't feel anything, to be honest. Like, I, in fact, I can't even stay hard with a condom. Put a condom on and then, you know, have sex a little bit and I lose my boner because I don't feel shit. Oh, yeah. I'm good. And then, yeah, birth control doesn't do anything because you don't, don't trust a girl's on birth control. That's how you get them pregnant, dude. Thank you. Oh, I'm dying for this water, dude. It's fucking 100 degrees outside. Thank you. Uh, over there. Male birth control. You know, they have, uh, I think they actually have that. Or they're testing it at least. I would not get that though. Because it's like something they insert in your dick. I think. I don't know. I know they were testing it a couple years ago. I don't know if it's a thing now, but it's like something they insert inside of your dick or something. And then it just, you know, kills fucking semen or, or some shit. I don't really know. I don't remember. But, or maybe it's a pill. I don't really remember. But some kind of thing. Fuck that. I would never take that. Ah, give me some water. Shitty car, bro. This is a 2017 Ford Fusion. What are you talking about? Oh my god. Oh, that's amazing. That is fucking insane. That feels so good. A Ford, yes, a Ford, dude. Ford is really good. What's behind me? Look behind me, there's nothing behind me. Alright, let me see. Uh, I don't know where the fuck I am. It's like the map. Back home here. Yeah, alright, we're gonna go home. Uh, I'm gonna go on the computer and we are going to stream a little bit on Mixer. I'm trying to get my hours done so I can qualify for partner on there. So if you would like to watch on Mixer, then mixer.com slash ice Poseidon for ice dash Poseidon. Uh, link is nowhere. So if a mod is watching, put it in the chat, or I will. Or just fucking look at my Twitter when I tweeted the link. Uh, and I'm on my map home. Let me see how far away from the house I am. minutes already all right well I'm gonna be home in 13 minutes and we're gonna go live on mixer and I will see you guys then we're gonna chill talk and see what's up all right so thank you all for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the stream kind of weird of a uh, of an app 
the I wish we found more shit. The alien was the, is really the only cool thing we found. Unfortunate, but eh, I don't know. It's definitely something to do in different cities we go in if we have nothing else to do. So it's definitely not bad. So thank y'all for watching. I appreciate it. I will see y'all motherfucking ass in 13 minutes. All right, love you guys, and see you in a bit.